The South Downs National Park in the southeast of England hosts many awe-inspiring sights you can see from beautiful cliffs, hiking trails and lush green scenery. This is one place you should definitely see in your lifetime. Join me as we explore this beautiful place. Good morning from the South Downs National Park. Today we are stopped in Seaford in Sussex in England. Uh, we're going to explore, as I say, the South Downs National Park. We're going to have a hike over the downs and check out the many sights and sounds. Also, we should pass through Seven Sisters Country Park as well. So we'll have a look around that hopefully as well if we get far enough. All right, let's go and explore and enjoy the place. So I'm on a sheltered part of the uh, South Downs now. It's really nice to be out the wind. Obviously you saw the cliffs back there. It was pretty windy. I really wanted to get the drone out, but um, yeah, I don't really fancy it getting blown away and uh, having to buy a new one. So yeah, it's a magnificent place this walk. If you're ever in England or the UK, definitely come to the South Downs National Park. It's uh, really great for hiking. So behind me, everyone, you can see the cottages. Uh, they are quite famous. They have been in a few sort of TV series. Probably the most famous one is Luther, featuring Idris Elba, who's a Hollywood actor. So yeah, really famous sort of house that you can sort of see in this background. When it's sunny, it looks spectacular. Just gotta say, you just can't beat that view. It is spectacular. I just love walking here. You just can't beat it. Right, everyone we're just approaching the seven sisters cliffs in a minute uh, they're very famous they've been in a lot of films you probably have seen them on, online quite a bit but they are quite spectacular to look at all right let's show them to you next okay everyone we just arrived at the seven sisters uh country park which is part of the south downs national park uh, basically we're by the sea at the moment but basically you can follow this path behind me back probably for about 45 minutes it gets you back onto the main road to catch all the buses um there is a paved park where you know like it's sort of tarmac as well um, and it's that way which leads all the way down to the sea which you can walk on as well so you've got prams push chairs wheelchairs anything like that you can also walk there as well just arrived at the Berlin Gap car park which is a National Trust one so you can park here for free so we're just going to show you around here and everything it's a bit too windy to get the drone up I'm afraid I don't really want to fancy losing it but yeah I'm glad the sun is back out now and I've warmed up a bit 
words can't describe the beauty of the Seven Sisters Cliffs. They are just mesmerising to look at. On our next journey, we are heading to the Bowtout Lighthouse, which you can also stay in as a B&B. What a view, eh? Cannot beat that background at all. You really can't beat that view when the sun is out. So you would have just seen one of the two lighthouses here up Beachy Head on the Seven Sisters. Uh, this one is actually a and b so you can stay there. I think it's around £200 a night, so yeah, you fancy there overlooking the Seven Sisters? Go for it. So we're just coming up to lighthouse number two, which is actually in the sea. So I'm just going to show that to you next. It's not so windy here, so I think I might be able to uh, get the drone up and get some aerial photos. The road you see in front of me uh, now, um, it was in a scene from The Hitman's Bodyguard with Ryan Reynolds. I think he's in like a van or a car with some nuns going to Dover. Yeah, so I'm just going to show you the, uh, the road that scene was filmed on next. So yeah, this was the uh, road that Ryan Reynolds rode in the van on The Hitman's Bodyguard uh, in that film. Well guys, that is a wrap on South Down Seven Sisters Beachy Head tour. Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, comment, do whatever you want to do. And uh, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Catch you in the next video. Bye for now.